In the previous video I screwed up trying to fix the taper on this uh, wood screw chuck that got bent all out of shape. And because I still want to make a uh, plum tree bowl, it is now time to make a new screw on screw chuck. Something that is a little bit stronger than this tapered screw chuck. So let's get started. There's a lot to do and I hope I'll be finished before the year is over. Under the bench of my black cargo lathe I keep my scriptonium stockpile. I got some aluminium, brass, steel and other miscellaneous pieces of crap from the local scrapyard. I thought about using this hex piece because it would be easier to take it off the spindle but I realized I don't have a wrench big enough so in the end I settled for this piece of stock. Grinding off a bit of saw cut that was left behind, it helps when setting up the piece in the chuck. Yes, that should be big enough for my plans. No fancy drawings, I'm just freestyle machining it, just the way I like it. Here's my HBM Chinesium lathe. It's about a decade old and it is also sold under other names. It should be able to do what I uh, want or need. Looks like I need to use the other chuck jaws. I'm going to use the lower jaw step. This way I will not run the uh, boring or threading tool into the jaws. Good enough. Reinstalling the quick change tool post because I had to change to the good old four way tool post on the last job I did. Now I got to watch out that I don't run the carriage into the chuck jaws. But as you can see, I clearly have done that before. Switching to my little center drilling chuck. Turned out it was too little or the quill on the tailstock is uh, too short. So I'm switching to a bigger drill chuck for more reach. And finally I'm ready to make a center hole. A 4 mm pilot drill. Now something somewhat bigger. My box with Chinesium tapered drill bits, 15 euro from the flea market, not a bad deal. And now a box full of internal turning tools. My 20 mm CCMT boring bar. A 22 mm drill bit should be big enough. Slowing down the speed of the lathe. And here we go.
Man, that geared headstock sounds just awful. I wonder when it will break down. Enough drilling. Let's take a facing cut. Locking the carriage for a better surface finish. I think that Chinesium insert is a goner. Switching to a round nose tool bit. Still crap. Let's try a high speed steel tool bit. You know, the surface finish doesn't really matter all that much. The wood lathe has some sort of fiber washer on the uh, spindle nose. Still crap. Time for a new 50 cent Chinesium insert. Watching out for the jaws, always a good idea. Rust, nasty stuff for on the lathe, and 50 cent Chinesium inserts are not too fond about it. Sorta impressed with my own work. Happens wow. not all too often. So shiny. Hard to believe that I did it. A useless file action shot.
And now I'm trying to figure out how to set up the compound slide to make a 45 degree chamfer. Without running into the jaws or running out of cross slide travel. In the end I decided to use the good old 4-way tool post again. This flexible extension that I installed for the electric drill can be a bit awkward to turn by hand. I'm not removing any material here because it turns out I'm at the end of the cross slide travel. I managed to burn up yet another piece of high speed steel. Will I ever learn? I'm done with a 4-way tool post and now it's time to set up my homemade boring bar holder. Replacing a dull blue nano insert with something a little bit sharper. Something's wrong. Turns out the insert screw was rubbing the inside of the bore. Some light grinder action and I'm ready to continue. Alright, that's all I have time for, as I cannot go past uh, the 15 minutes on this uh, hopefully temporary channel that I have to use because uh, for some fucked up reason beyond my understanding, I can no longer log in to my single L rolling metal channel. Also, this is going to get a bit boring, pun intended, and I still need to figure out how big this hole should be. So the next time I hope to show some single point threading action. Take care, stay safe and to be continued.